G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley Spline Fishing. We specialise in guided tours throughout Victoria, but we also take groups to Alaska, Chile, bone fishing Christmas Island, and our most popular one, New Zealand. So if that's where you want to go, come in and see us at our stores in Bentley and Lumsden. And what's your favourite fish? There's obviously a lot of species, so here, what, what's your favourite? Well, that, that's a tough one. I would say my favourite salmon to catch would be the chum salmon, second largest species of salmon. They just got this cool tire stripe and they, they fight super, really aggressively. Um, you know, the smaller fish ha have to be the grayling, you know, because the grayling, they'll go after a woolly booger, they'll go after a streamer, three times their size, you know, and the dry fly. The dry fly action, and, you know, I always say I'd rather sometimes catch, you know, one fish on top water than five fish you know, swinging a streamer around them. Yeah. But um, that just depends on the day. So the chum salmon and the grayling. Now the flies we use for grayling are very similar to I brought my New Zealand fly box over. Um, there'll be a lot of like duns and also like caddis and that around. So we'll tend to use uh, like a lot of stimulators um, and also just some elk hair caddis, you know, in blacks and browns and things like that. And they'll work really well here. So uh, you have a selection that you'd normally use for trout and they're going to work on the grayling as well as the rainbows that are all through here. So, uh, yeah, quite a few fish. We'll pick them out on these. This is one thing that we take virtually to all our fishing places, the Magellan Explorer 610. Um, here's not too bad because we've got the river and we can follow that down. But you can always mark on, a, on, a, on the map itself where you know particular fish are holding and things like that and really um, just set it up to make sure it's going to work for all the different areas that you're going to fish and know how far you are back from home or your camp or whatever so uh, they're quite a handy little thing when you are out in areas that you're not sure of this will tell you exactly where you are and where you need to be Yeah, yeah. So you need a pair of rackets. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Somebody on that? Yep, yeah, it's on. It's on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We, what's the guy there? Like, we might have to chase him. But, Oh, there you go. He's gone. <laughs> Ooh, there's a little bit, a fair bit going on there, wasn't it? That was good. That was, uh, yeah, I mean, the difference, that was, we think it's probably like a, a king salmon because that just took off. He was going back to sea. And, uh, yeah, that was a bit different. Whereas all the other ones, you, you can play around a little bit here. But these king salmon, I think they're a little bit more serious than the others. They, they play a bit more fair income. Just need to land one. I think there might be actually some more out there. Yeah. yeah. So they're that deep red. Mm. Yeah. yeah. There. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just a. Uh, Nice. Lovely red fly we've put on. We could see what we thought were king salmon. And it's just been moving. We, uh, yeah, there's obviously some uh, chum in amongst them as well. And that's the difference that when we had that king salmon, he was down near those rapids in no time, whereas this one. Just more of a solid fighter, I guess, like more like a brown trout. Just, you know, just a good solid fish. Whereas the king salmon go like cut cats. Just try and get him out of. There's, there's quite a bit of current there. There's a little bit of slack water there. I'll try and get him out of that. A couple of different options. We've had like sink tips and then also onto a floater. And this is uh, Ethan put on a split shot under this 
I did a little red fly and it's uh, worked, mate. Yeah, yep. well done, well done. So this is really your fish, seems. Yeah, you know, well, you pick the fly and. Uh, I was, you know, standing yeah, back yeah. And <laughs> watching the fish and. Once they just get in that fast water, they get a little bit of that oxygenated uh, water and they fire up again. But just a good solid reel, good solid drag, and just wear them out. We've got a terrific little netter over there, all set, ready to go. Drag him back. Let the rod do the work. Oh, beautiful. Perfect. Yeah. Hold on, mate. Well done. Oh, beautiful. Well done. Yeah. Finally got one. Finally got one. It's been three days. Different from being behind the camera. Good job, mate. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Yeah. yeah. This one. Are you going to call it? What sort of fish is it? I don't know. I never saw it rise. Chum. <laughs> We're in getting a few chum. chum. Your brother, get yeah. Uh, Cole, get. Quite often you can get a few different species like out of the same hole. Um, oh, I just hate that one there. Um, but this one you can you can get one after the other, and, and there can be some quite good schools in there. So uh, yeah, but they they just fight. They're just still such a strong and powerful fish. And once you put them in this fast water, they're certainly hard work. You they know, are. so they are. Yeah, we go. He doesn't like this. Oh! Yes. <laughs> well done. Well done. Another Very female. Beautiful. Yeah. Another female. That. Yep. Yeah. And the, the fin's just going white. Just closer to yes, spawning. Look at them. Yeah. Cool. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nowhere near as, as big a teeth as. What the uh, the males have, have yeah, they? No. Obviously, you don't need to fight as much. Yeah, we'll get that hook out and get him back in. Uh, I just want it to maybe sweep. No, that'll be right. Sweet, sweet. you've enjoyed today's episode of On The Fly here on the Algonac River, Katmai National Park um, with Alaskan Trophy Adventures. It's an amazing fishery um, and, and as you could just see, you know, we uh, it's probably time to call it a day when the bear comes across and he can't catch any fish either. So uh, we might even pull the pin now. But it's an amazing place. I mean, Alaska is just, it is literally the, the wilderness and they call it the last frontier. And it is, it's full of, as you see, bears and elk and moose and wolves and the whole shooting match. So it's, uh, it's an amazing experience in countryside that just goes for miles and miles. So uh, I think you better do yourself a favour and get across and experience this firsthand and you're going to certainly love it. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's show and I look forward to catching you next time on the fly.